There are several subtle ways to go into a relationship. Not by just approaching somebody. And then the report has come too much from the library. Oh, no. Now, book the thoughts even are going for library. <laughs> it's not a relationship zone. Please, help us pass this message to others. I, I, when I, I posted, I talked about this on our group sometimes ago. And somebody, I love the way the, the guy approached me. I said, there are apps where you can actually meet people. And the guy came to me and said, please, mention some of the apps. <laughs> and I gave him. Don't ask me how I knew. <laughs> so please, there are ways. We, I'm planning to see a way where we can begin to talk about, I, I'm planning to start something called Jackpot Blues. Where we'll talk about how we can go into some of this relationship and things like that. Yeah, but please, for the sake of yourself. We that are used to the way our Nigerian boyfriend used to pamper us, it's difficult to remain in a relationship in UK here. Especially with a white. So that was how one day this white brother said, said to me, Let's go out, let's go out. I said, Okay, let's go now. The cuckoo carried me to this Turkey shabby, waiting in the corner, Turkish restaurant. Waiting me as I be to drop for there. I saw we all that nonsense, so I could not even eat and well. We will come, the waiter came and then he was like, um do you want the bill together or you want me to split it the man says split it please i was like eh? <laughs> i said okay maybe you want to pay half by card and half by uh, cash so i ignored that's how they came over they handed one bill to me handed another bill to him i, I shall pay though because i don't want to be disgraced but that was the last time I took his call. Why? Why should you tell me to come? Let's go out. If you don't have money to pay for the both of us, which one is less split bills? Less split bills. I'm even speaking English. It's just so annoying, actually. It's, it's annoying. If you want to take me out, take me out. If I want to take you out, I'll take you out. Simple. Short. <laughs> A recent study has revealed a major reason why couples succeed in their relationships and marriages. And the answer is going to divide you. I can understand why. I used to be somebody who was against this. So, the study has revealed that couples that join their finances together are more likely to succeed over the long term. And when you really think about it, it's hard to understand why somebody wouldn't agree with this. You wouldn't play any team sport by yourself and expect to win. You wouldn't expect every player to go off and do their own thing and expect everything to align as a team. So why do you think it's any different with your money in a relationship? And there are three main reasons why this study concluded that joining your money together is a beneficial thing. Firstly, you both need to make joint decisions if there's a joint account. You should both be doing a budget together, therefore justifying together every expense that comes out of that account. Number two, having your money together as a couple is gonna promote transparency, with finances being one of the biggest reasons couples fight and is one of the leading causes of divorce. Doing things financially together is going to prevent that from happening. Yes, of course, there are going to be arguments, but as long as it's resolved in a responsible way, you're gonna to come to a conclusion that's best for both people. Keeping your money separate promotes financial infidelity and is very easy for people to keep secrets. And number three, putting your money together creates a sense of togetherness. It's not my money, it's our money. 